There's no secret to how new Buffalo Bills head coach Rex Ryan likes to build his team with a strong, tough defense and a standout running game. In trading for former Eagles running back LaShawn McCoy this spring, Ryan now has the elite tailback to do it. McCoy should share touches with veteran Fred Jackson, but make no mistake, McCoy will be the focal point of the Bills offense. And given the instability at quarterback, he's going to have to carry quite a load. The Seattle Seahawks already have one of NFL's best red zone running backs in Marshawn Lynch, but now they have a legitimate red zone receiving threat in tight end Jimmy Graham, whom the Seahawks acquired from the New Orleans Saints in a trade this spring. In Graham, the Seahawks finally have a skill position player who will cause mismatches all over the field, which should be a huge help for quarterback Russell Wilson, who lacked that sort of elite receiver all of last season. The Kansas City Chiefs desperately needed an upgrade at wide receiver after no receiver scored a touchdown for the Chiefs last season, and they got it in Jeremy Macklin. The former Philadelphia Eagles now reunited in Kansas City with head coach Andy Reid, who drafted him in Philadelphia, and his familiarity with Reid's offense should help him make an immediate impact as another weapon for quarterback Alex Smith and as a way to take some of the offensive burden off of running back Jamal Charles. It was refreshing to hear Indomicon Sue say in March that money was a big reason why he signed with the Miami Dolphins. But it was also about the opportunity to become a major force in the Dolphins' defense as Miami tries to finally catch up to the New England Patriots in the AFC East. Having Sue anchoring that defensive line should change everything for the Dolphins' defense. It will make pass rusher Cameron Wake better. It will make defensive backs like Brett Grimes better. And that should be giving Tom Brady nightmares. So Darrell Rivas might be more of an old face in an old place after he rejoined the New York Jets this year after a few years away. But Rivas' return to New York was more than just sentimental. He's returning to a revamped secondary under new head coach Todd Bowles, and he should thrive in Bowles' defensive system, where the Jets should be able to exploit Rivas' superior man-to-man coverage skills.